Hey there, hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a custom domain to your GitHub web page. So here's my web page. And if you don't know how to upload your own GitHub web page, I have a video tutorial on that on my channel, which I'll link below in the video description. So here's my web page, and I have a bunch of web tutorial projects uh, for my channel. So each project has a link to the YouTube video tutorial as well as a demo and the link to the code repo. So if I click on Wordle, for example, you can see we have a fully functional project of Wordle. Okay. So instead of this link, which is my username.github.io, I want to add a custom domain, which would be kennyipcoding.com. So to do that, I'm going to register for one. You can register for one on Google or GoDaddy or whichever domain provider you choose. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Google domains. So just type in domains.google and you'll see this page. And for here, you can type in whatever domain you want. So let's say I want uh, a domain for my personal website. I would type in my first and last name .com, and I'll click on get it. And you can see kennyip.com is already registered. And that is because this is my personal website. If it's already registered in your case, you can choose another domain ending such as .dev, .net, or .org. And there are other suggested domain endings. Now, most people would prefer a .com ending, but if that's not available, you can choose some other ending. And in my case, I want kennyipcoding.com. So let's search for that. And you can see it is available. So I'm going to add it to my cart. And then I'll go to my cart. And then standard procedure, just check out. So it's only $12 for one year, which is a dollar a month. So it's pretty cheap. I'll just click check out. All right, cool. So now I have my domain purchased. So it's kennyipcoding.com. Now you might get an email that tells you to verify your email address for that custom domain. So just click verify email now. All right, so back in Google domains, you want to head to the DNS tab. And this is where we connect our GitHub pages to our custom domain. So over here, we need to add a custom record. So in the Google pages documentation, you'll find that we have these four IP addresses. So just go ahead and copy each one. And they're pretty much the same, except you can see in the third column, it goes from 108 to 111. So just go back to the DNS tab in Google domains. And over here, select type. And just copy and paste. So I'm just going to do 109, 110, and 111 and then click Save. And then we're going to click Manage Custom Records and create a new record and do the same, but this time type in www for the type, A, and we just repeat. So this would be 109, 110, and 111 and then click Save. All right, so this should be it for your Google domains. Now you want to head over to your GitHub repo where your website is. And in your GitHub repo, just click on the settings. Scroll down to where it says Pages. And over here, you see Custom Domain. Just type in your custom domain. So in my case, it'll be www kennyyipcoding.com and then click save after clicking save you should see this blue notification pop up saying that your custom domain has been saved on github pages you'll see that it'll say your site is live at your custom domain and if you scroll down to custom domain you should see dns check successful now it won't say this right away it might take five to ten minutes just wait a bit and click check again. Eventually it will show DNS check successful. All right, so after you've added your custom records and you've linked your custom domain, 
Now we just need to test it. So I'm just going to type in kennyipcoding.com. And here it is, kennyipcoding.com. So there's my website. And if I try to type in I'm kennyip.github.io, you can see it will reroute me to kennyipcoding.com. Now, if your web page doesn't load through your custom domain, that just means that you have to wait a bit, maybe 10 to 20 minutes, could be longer. And while you wait, you might want to clear your cache. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much how to add a custom domain name to your GitHub web page. And if this video worked for you, please give it a like and make sure you subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. And again, I have a bunch of web project tutorials available. So you can also check it out on kennyipcoding.com. Okay, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.